John Jane Rich. It's December 1st, man. Woo. That was fast. Holy smokes. Yeah, uh, yesterday I was having a conversation with my wife, and it's like my son Kemp, he turns 18 on Saturday. Oh, and I was oh, like, that's crazy. I was like, what? Oh, <laughs> that's his birthday. Oh, that's crazy. <laughs> like, we're like, what do you want to do for your birthday? He's like, I don't care. I don't want to do anything. Can we just have a normal day? Oh, he's your son. <laughs> yeah, boy. That's yeah, what yeah, I, I know. I know. I know. Anyway, so yeah, it's December 1st, 2021. You can call us right now at 877 937 1047. You can text us. In fact, you can text us all day. And we will call you back and have you on the show another day. It doesn't matter. You can text us at JJR and whatever your message is to 96893. Because, you know, and our podcast runs all day. In fact, speaking of our podcast, get this. Remember yesterday I was reading to you, I got a DM from a couple guys that are sharing a prison cell? Yeah. Somebody messaged me yesterday, and they were listening to our podcast, and they got a chortle out of, uh, out of the timing of our podcast. Because I guess in our podcast, sometimes there are ads that run just out of nowhere, maybe an ad promoting another podcast on the iHeart stream. Right, so if you go to if you download iHeartRadio app, you can listen to our podcast, you can listen to our radio show, you can listen to us live, you can listen to whatever. And then sometimes, just out of nowhere, an ad pops up, and this person recorded the podcast, and they sent me. They go, "Boy, the timing for this ad is unbelievable." So it's me. It's the part of the show where I'm reading the guy's message from the prison cell, and then listen to the ad that pops up out of nowhere. You know those guys who listen to our show that are in prison? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right, yeah. Well, they just sent me a DM. Yo, Jaj, don't forget about old pirate in Jalisco on lockdown in cell 330. Hook us up with a shout out. We always listen, big bro, always. Hope you have a great day. And then um, they sent me a picture of some homemade prison made pizza. And uh... Nothing brings the family together like cold blooded murder. No, seriously. Hunt a killer makes immersive murder mystery games <laughs> where you'll get to solve a fictional murder as a family. What? <laughs> That's the what? Of Do we even know what, what they're locked up for, though? I don't know you what they're ask. like. I should, yeah. Yeah. But, but like, what? Like, <laughs> that's the con- I don't know like, if the oh, iHeart hey. algorithm is listening to the content of the show. <laughs> that's crazy. Oh, no. Weird. Anyway, so yesterday I was at a basketball game with my son Kemp. And Peyton's dad was the coach, and then I had people that were at Peyton's game sending me pictures of Peyton coaching her game. <laughs> And you were all dressed up. I showed my wife. My wife was like, "Oh, woo! Payton's all dressed up. <laughs> woo!" So, what? What's the story behind your outfit? And what was it like coaching your first home game? Oh my gosh, it was unreal. It was such a different feeling, and it was being on the coach's side versus being on the player side. Like, it's kind of weird, but I still got like the same satisfaction out of our win. So we won on a. Buzzer beater. Oh, good for you. Last second. Like, it was crazy. I jumped up. My whole dress came up. I was like, oh, no. Like, <laughs> it was crazy. And it was so much fun. And my dress, so I made my mom take me uh, shopping on Friday. It just happened to be on Black Friday. We got some really good deals. And my outfit was this, like, cute polka dot white dress. And I had these, like, knee-high leather boots. And I'm, like, looking at myself. And I'm like, yep. My mom still dresses me because she literally <laughs> picked out that outfit and I got so many compliments on it. And I'm like, yes, Miranda, always coming in clutch with the outfits. But other than that, like, it was a blast. It was so much fun. It was such a good feeling to feel like I can just give back, you know? Yeah, this friend of mine, she actually, she actually was our babysitter for my kids for a long, long time ago. And she sends me this picture. She goes, is this Peyton? And I'm like, yes, it is. Send me more pictures. <laughs> so I was posting them like crazy. Yeah, that's awesome. I know. I was like, I was a little fired up. I was a little mad. We missed a lot of baby bunny layups and free throws. So we would have won by 15 plus if we would have made those. But whatever. We still won. I have okay. to tell you something that happened yesterday <laughs> with you. And I thought about it all day yesterday. And, and it, something happened in the hallway. And I and we just kind of let it let it go. And, I th- and then as the day went on, I was still going, what the heck? Peyton said this. And I thought it was so adorable. But I, and I don't know if any of you guys caught it. I don't know if you guys were around. I don't know if you know how stuff happens here. And I don't know if it happened on during commercials, but I feel like it happened over there in the hallway down there. And I don't know why we were talking. You you tell the story behind back in the day what what you used to do because of Jaden Smith, Will yeah. Smith's son. What did you tell me? Yeah. Um. So I used to like be obsessed with Jaden Smith, and I would make like graphics of us together like pictures of us that said we were married and stuff (laughs) and (laughs) and I was like obsessed with him and we were talking about you had brought up how yay 
went with somebody to like the Donda game or something like that. I don't remember exactly what the content context was. But when I was younger, um, like 12, 13, just starting to wear makeup, um, I would make sure that I would put on like a full face of makeup for my basketball games because in case Jaden Smith walked into my game. <laughs> and I wanted to make sure that like I looked cute if Jaden Smith walked into the game. And it's so <laughs> funny because back then, like not back then, it was 10 years ago, but like that probably wouldn't happen. But now Jaden Smith could definitely walk into a basketball game. Any celebrity could walk into a basketball game. So I just thought it was just, it was, I was mind blown. What are you talking, there's a good, Jaden Smith could walk in here. Well, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? He can, yeah, he, there's a good chance. I mean, <laughs> I, we've I had him on the phone before. Yeah. We've I'm had like, his whole family on the phone I'm before. I'm obsessed. Like, still, I think he's so cute. I'll find the graphic. It's like <laughs> yeah. Mr. and Mrs. Smith, and it's like a heart, and it's me. It's so cute. I'm like six in the picture. Peyton's deep faking a relationship with Jaden Smith before <laughs> yeah. deep fakes were a thing.